Hey, Trevor Matthews with another two minutes with Trevor. Today I want to talk about Ohm and Out single phase compressor, checking the winding resistance and what you should be matching that to. to. What you need to do is download Cobla Mobile and when you download Cobla Mobile, you can scan the compressor. Here's the serial number, you can scan it and it'll pull up that compressor model number. And when you get in there, you go into electrical and then you go into winding resistance. For single phase compressors, they do not all equal. The start winding is gonna be different than the run winding. So you need to be aware of that. And when you're looking at the terminals, C for common on this side when you're looking at it, start and then run. So C to S should always be the highest and then C to R should be lower, okay? And in Copla Mobile, it's gonna say start. So that's your common to start. And then run would be common to run. You always wanna take your readings from the compressor terminals. Why is that important? Because if you take it from the contactor, the load side, it could be the contactor, it could be the wires, it could be the molded plug that's the issue and not the compressor. So just make sure you, get, uh, you take it from the compressor. So I'm gonna go common to start. And I checked this already on Copa Mobile, should be 2.4 and we get 2.4 exactly, then common to run should have been 1.4 and I'm getting 1.5. The windings are good on this. To make sure they're good, I'm just gonna go a little step further further, and check it to uh, Pi Pot. These windings are totally fine. I'd love to hear any questions or comments. My name is Trevor Matthews. Let's get a conversation going.